Hello there, it's Stinger Splash back with another video. I haven't done one for a couple of days because, um, basically I had a bit of a bug, 24 hour bug yesterday. I felt like death warmed up. Um, and then I was going to do a video this morning, an unboxing video for the items that I got today. And uh, unfortunately, my batteries were charged down and I was able to recharge the uh, the batteries from my camera. Um, and I really couldn't wait for most of it to, to unbox it. So, unfortunately, instead of being an unboxing, um, it's more of just shown what I got today um, so the first ones I'll show are the two games these are just released today got them in the post there this morning the first one is Dead Island um, which I have played I was playing it uh, earlier today um, I really like it so far you know it's sort of a bit like um, Borderlands but set on a you know desert island uh, full of zombies um, but yeah, I didn't get any special edition or anything, just got the standard one. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's, uh, it's good so far. Um, and hopefully later on I'll, I'll do some co-op with some people and we're going to help each other out and kick a lot of zombie ass. Uh, the second which I haven't played yet, um, is Resistance 3 Special Edition. Um, this is a game, uh, stores exclusive. Um, this actually came through today. Even though I haven't been charged yet, and it looks like I might end up for free. Uh, we'll see. Um, but this is just a, it's a pretty cool still work. Not really a lot on the back there. Um, but inside there is just get this open. Um, there is a, a voucher in there, which obviously I won't show. Um, for some DLC, and there's also a pretty cool limited limited to this version and the Survivor Edition, um, a vinyl sort of version of the game so it looks like an old you know LP record which is quite nice um, it's got some nice artwork uh, inside and out really so yeah it's Resistance 3 but I haven't played that yet but I'm sure I will get round to it and uh, yeah so that is the games now the Blu-rays um, First up, I usually do separate videos for these, but I might as well do it all in one go, why not? Uh, it's the Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, uh, double play steelbook, um, this is an HMB exclusive, and uh, there's a rare Disney steelbook, there's not that many around, uh, I think the only other one is so far at the moment is uh, Prince of Persia, uh, but there will be Cars 2. Uh, that's going to be a, the first Disney Pixar steal. So let's open this up. See what the artwork looks like inside. This is the only thing I didn't actually unseal. So I'll just uh, put this down. Right. So good. Inside we have the Blu-ray and the usual plain DVD which is fast play I think so that kids can play it um, and there's the uh, artwork inside so very standard really um, so yeah I'm, I'm sort of looking forward to watching this uh, I haven't heard anything about it so I don't want to get spoiled or anything but uh, you know I enjoyed the first three so and anything that's a steelbook is always good. So, there's the Pirates of the Caribbean exclusive steelbook. Uh, and then the next few items I've got, uh, this is another one that's actually not out until, that's not out until Monday. And this isn't out until Monday either. I got Insidious. Um, sort of a, a whim buy, really. I heard some, some decent things about it, and so I thought I'd uh, pick it up. It was under 10 quid, so I thought for a brand new release it's not bad. Um, the other one I got today, which isn't a brand new release, is Apocalypse Now. Um, this is the 3 disc collector's edition. Um, it has both versions of the movie plus the, the documentary Hearts of Darkness. Um, I might do a video looking more into the things that are inside that. But the main thing for today is, uh, and, the, and, and, and the thing I've been waiting for for so long now, uh, it's finally here today, um, and it is here early, so I, this is basically all I'm going to be doing all weekend now, you know, 
I just got Dead Island and Resistance 3, they're probably not going to get a look in because uh, here it is Star Wars Complete Saga. Um, really happy when this came through today because I didn't really want to be fancy in the waiting after the weekend for it. So let's have a look inside this and see it's sort of pretty plain on the outside, but I do like the artwork to be honest. I know some people complained about it, but I quite liked it. Um, so we'll just take this out of the uh, slipcase here. Inside, the digi stack. Um, okay, so we're going to uh, continue on. Not sure what happened there, but my, my battery's died after just five minutes, so it was weird. Um, so uh, you know, we'll continue on. I'll fix this in on the PlayStation. I'll put the two videos together. Um, so this is the inside of the Star Wars. Um, we have the center type, which is only for people who pre-order it online. You won't be able to get that in store. It's number nine eight seven zero zero. Um, I think it's on episode three. And then we have the guy, the galaxy, which is just some nice artwork from all six films. And then at the back, it has all the details about what is on the three bonus discs. Um, and I'm wagering most Star Wars fans would have bought this set, or just the, uh, you know, the original trilogy. Um, although why you would I don't know. The, for the price of the original trilogy and the prequel separately, you can get this set for about the same price, maybe even a bit cheaper. And then you get all three bonus discs, um, which have some really good. Uh, interviews, delete scenes, all sorts of stuff on it. And the third and final Blu-ray disc, bonus disc, has uh, a bunch of uh, documentaries on it that I'm looking forward to to watching and re-watching. Plus also the the new hour and a half long Star Wars spoofs, which has bits and pieces from uh, Simpsons, Family Guy, and things like that. Plus Weird Al Yankovic's uh, song that he did uh, around about the time of Episode One coming out. Um, so. Yeah, uh, you know, there's plenty of extras there, so why anyone would want to get them separately, I don't know. And I can't, I can't see anybody really buying just the uh, prequels. That one might sell uh, pretty badly. Um, so, just a brief look at the discs. Episode 1, Episode 2, Episode 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yeah. And then we have the bonus discs, firstly for the prequels, then the originals, and then the documentaries on the last disc there. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty of cool Easter eggs that will be found, and, uh, you know, they'll be uh, mentioned online, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, really, really happy that this is finally out, and <coughs> finally, finally got it in my hands. And uh, yeah, this is basically <coughs> probably what I'm going to be spending most of the weekend watching. Um, my plan is to try and watch uh, three films a day and then and then another day for the, the extras but the extras might take a couple of days to be perfectly honest um, there's that many of them uh, probably will actually so I'm going to start getting cracking now I'm going to watch episode one you've got to start somewhere I'm going to you know, go through episode one all the way through to six and um, yeah it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like uh, in Blu-ray so uh, thanks again for watching this video. Um, I wish I could have unboxed them, and but you know things happen. So um, you know I'll do uh, another video soon with some more stuff that I get through the post, which, whichever that will be. Um, and I might do one about the, the apocalypse now um, uh, a bit later on. So well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all again later.